when they when they all attack at the same time like that that was at least two hunter groups maybe even three and and do it at night and in a storm on top of that it makes it very difficult Welcome back everybody to Subsistence. I am an old guy gaming and in this episode we're going to continue uh, building out the rest of our defenses. Uh, well, maybe not the rest, but we might. We'll see how far along we get here. So, uh, let's see. First of all, yeah, we had some adventures, uh, um, off-camera adventures. Uh, I uh, turned around and there was a beehive <laughs> right there on that tree. So we got that. And... Um, it, it, it like appeared right in front of my eyes. It was just weird. Um, and then let's see what else. We got a few locked crates, as you saw at the beginning there. And I also killed my first cougar, too. He was a level one cougar. And we took him out. So, yeah, had a really good loot day yesterday. Um, just started early in the morning, went out and just looted like crazy. So, we now have 300 nails plus 25 more. Uh, we have a full stack of wood and some. Uh, we have lots of full stacks of stuff, so we're doing really good uh, on materials, uh, as you can see here. Okay, so let's see here. Um, we're going to let's turn this back on to build our power back up. We've got a uh, mass built back up, but I don't have anything to feed into it right at the moment. Uh, but that's okay. We'll worry about that later. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a stack of nails. Uh, well, let's actually split this in half and split this in half. And yeah, look at that. That gives us 100 nails. Um, actually, let's keep, say, 75 nails for repairing. And then that gives us 250 for building. Uh, we got a full stack of planks here that I've made up. And we got a full stack of cordage. And so, yeah, we should be good to go. Let's grab our hammer, too. And so the plan here is going to be that we're we're going to finish out the defenses. And um, I'm expecting an attack uh, at any time. Uh, we did get one attack when I was out looting, and they did pretty minimal damage. Uh, but I haven't been attacked for a while since then. So... Uh, we got a wall off of one of the hunters that we killed, so I put that wall up there, and uh, we haven't really done anything more um, up here so far. I do want to get this, <clears throat> excuse me, light in place. And you know what? We could actually do that right now. We got the mass and power, so let's do that first. Uh, I have two ink. Uh, no, actually, I have four ingots. Oh, man, you know what we could do instead? is we could do our animal farm upgrades. You just finish doing your thing. And then, let's see here, upgrade. So yeah, we just need, we need one ingot. Oh, we could probably do this and the other thing. Except, well, except for we're probably not going to have enough mass and power. Maybe we will. Well, let's get this done first. Okay, so we're going to need eight adhesive. In fact, let's just grab... We're going to need some of that, too. Let's just grab all the adhesive. And... Was that it? Let's look again. 
Yeah, okay, so let's install that slot and that slot. Awesome. Okay, so now we're going to have to go out, not right this second. We're, we are, this is a building episode, at least the first part of it will be. Uh, but now we have the ability to put in three chickens. That's going to be cool. Um, if, In case you're curious, I have raised rabbits in this game before, and it's just not, in my opinion, not worth it. Um, is Well, it's not that it's not worth it, but chickens are just better. Primarily because chickens give you eggs, A, and B, chickens give you, um, you know, the whole chicken meat when you, you know, when you butcher it at level 10, which is, allows you to make the second most powerful dish in the game. Only, second only to the moose, you know, um, the moose roast thingamadoodle. And, you know, the rabbit meat that you get off of a level 10 rabbit lets you make a kind of a, more of a mid-grade dish. It's not a bad dish by any means, but it's not as good as what the chicken does. Plus, you get the pres, uh, the premium feathers from the chicken, and you get a supply of eggs. So, all those things together, you know, the rabbit supposedly gives more feces, but, and, you know, that's nice, but still not as good as the other the other things, in my humble opinion, which are all entitled to. <laughs> okay, let's see here. What do we need for this upgrade? To add the grill, we need a rope and some electrical components, and we need our mass to build up to 80. So what we'll let's get busy building, and we'll check this later on, and see you know how much that mass will will build up for us. Okay, so we'll put this stuff back in here. That can go down there. I uh, oh no, we got to keep we got to keep this in our inventory for building. That can go there, that can go there. Oh, I was going to put the um, cotton seed up in the planter. So let's do that. Yeah, and then we'll do the grow light later, and then this is a pretty cheap upgrade, too. Not that the grow light uses that much power. It actually doesn't use hardly any at all. I mean, it's only, it's point zero seven. So, I don't know. I mean, it all adds up, right? It all adds up. Okay, so let's um, chow down on a steak and eggs. We are hot because it is summertime, um, you know, so we're going to have to do, yeah, we get thirsty a lot, so we're going to have to stay on top of that. And um, let's see, we need a little bit of veggies too, so let's chow down on some tomatoes. We got 30 tomatoes, so we're doing really good on the maters. Okay, let's come out here, <coughs> excuse me, here and refill these guys up. But we also have the fire going in here, too, so that, that's making us even even more hot, of course. Okay, so if we get out of here and just kind of jump in the water and get wet, that'll help us cool off a little bit, and then we should be okay. Alrighty, so we're basically just going to continue building out uh, what we started here. So let's get some foundations going. Um, we might as well, let's get the door, that door in place too. And then, uh, let's see, we're gonna probably need one, two, three-ish foundations. Maybe, actually, let's just make two and then, cause then the third one might end up being a curved foundation. This is probably gonna have to, almost certainly, in, in fact, gonna have to be moved. Too, but we, we won't do that until we until we actually have to do that okay so let's put this in place here all right um i might put us a, a little stair step here too not that it's that big a deal to go around but hey is that a crate over there no it isn't okay this island um Produces a surprising amount of loot, you know, crates and medicinal plants and ores and stuff. <laughs> it's uh, it's not bad. It is not bad. Okay, so let's grab this and snap it in place. No, not right there, right there. And then let's grab the next one. Uh, we are going to need a curved one regardless, so let's get that one going. And we'll snap that one in place. Okay, so, based upon, I 
based upon what's going on over here, we've we actually have three foundations sticking out before it starts to curve. Um, and I am I, I do want to extend the base out this way a little bit more too. At least one more foundation is kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, so if that's the case, then uh, think, 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 think. Okay, actually, let's do this. Let's go over here. And let's make another foundation here. So my thought, I, I, I don't want to extend the base out any further this direction. Uh, because uh, essentially the rock ends there for one thing. But I do want to extend it out this way a little more. So what if we put that there? I don't even know. I don't know if that's lined up with the inside foundation or not. I don't see anybody coming there. Oh, they're going that direction. Oh, okay. Well, alrighty then. Let's pick this back up. And put it in that way. There. So... Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if that's completely lined up or not. I guess the only way to know is... Well, I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it right now. That's very easy to fix later on. So, there you go. Okay, so, we got that one there. Now, um... The next question is, <clears throat> and I am planning on extending the wall of the base out there too, just FYI. You know what I think I'm going to do is, let me look at something over here. Okay. I'm making this up as I go. If that wasn't already painfully obvious. <laughs> um, all right, let's put this one in here for now. And we're going to have, you know, two more in front as well. But I'm thinking that this is where it goes, starts to go back here to here because it's not really my intention to bring it all the way out to the water um you know we uh, we don't get the hunters on this side that doesn't mean we won't in the future but we could always you know adjust things in the future if we had to so i think what's going to happen here is we're going to move the wall of the base out to this area and then we're going to have yeah I, I think we need to go out one more I think we need to go out one more okay so let's make another foundation how are we doing on stuff yeah we're doing pretty good on resources I've got some more cordage in here. Let's just grab that. Okay. Uh, what the heck, man? Okay, here. let's go back to here and then... Why aren't you snapping? That was weird. Okay. 
And again, I know I need to, I need to build the front out, but right now I'm, I just want to get the remaining defenses up. Now we probably should. Let's go look over here and see if anyone's coming. Nope, we're good. So for now, we probably should, um, we'll, uh, and probably will. Oh no! Wait a minute! 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 I'm not doing this right. I am not doing this right. Let's pick these back up. I just realized. What I was gonna say is we should put some walls here, but those those actually need to come down. Uh, oh nope, too far. So that's going to be the edge of the wall. And we might do the same thing that we did over here where we have like this little... What in the world? Compartment thing here and then stairs going down. Uh, okay, so if we do that... That means... Here. <clears throat> Let's pick this up for a second. I'm just going to put that there temporarily. Okay, so let's pick this up. And we actually need to flip it around that way so it matches this side. And this will be the door out the other side with the stairs going down. Right, okay. So now what we need is two stairs. And then that way it's gonna match on the other side uh, two. So we're basically going to do this here. Okay, so flip this around this way. And then we'll do likewise with the other one. And then once we get down, we'll curve it. Now this one goes out even one more though I think doesn't it or does it start to curve yeah it still has this platform here um so I don't know if I want to do that as well to make things symmetrical I'm kind of thinking I do kind of thinking I do All right. so we put that in there and then we put foundation a straight foundation here and then curve it around the only the only reason I wouldn't do that though is because we're already like quite a ways into the water now but I guess if we do it that way it is going to bring it more along the edge so there's all water on this side too oh we're under attack I knew it was gonna happen you have tiny rants. Alright, he's dead. Okay, so that's Alpha. Probably Alpha. Oh! Alright, um... Here, let's quickly dispatch this guy. Ah, crap, he got away from me. Alright. Okay, we gotta take a bandage. Let's reload. Where are you going, dude? Can't shoot at my base and then run off. Alright, I think there might be another guy over here. With a little bit of luck, he got stuck under the... The deck, which they're still doing a good portion of the time, making my job a lot easier. <coughs> Wasn't there another guy out here? Yeah, he, there is. Oh, he's in the yard. Don't be shooting my chicken. Here, we gotta go up here. Did he, like, come all the way up the... Alright, you want to go pistols? Okay, let's go pistols. 
There we go, we went pistols. <laughs> okay. I think that's it, hopefully. Oh man, I wish they wouldn't attack in the dark. Um, eventually, we'll probably get some lighting up, uh, you know, so we can see what's going on out here. Makes it very difficult to fight these guys at nighttime. Okay, let's grab this. Let's grab this. And then, oh, we got another dude somewhere. Oh, he's right there. Oh, we're getting attacked again. Son of a bitch. See, it's so hard to see him. All right, you know, he's going away from the base. Let's go after the... I think there was at least one more guy. Yeah, he's right there. Uh, we don't want him over here messing around with stuff. All right, where'd you go? Oh, there he is. Okay. All right, so we still have one more dude that started swimming away. I don't, oh, yeah, he's coming back. He's coming back. Okay. Good. Okay. Is that it? Man. When they, when they all attack at the same time like that, that was at least two hunter groups, maybe even three. And and do it at night, and in a storm on top of that. It makes it very difficult to to see what in the world's going on. We Didn't we kill a guy out here a little ways? Uh, can we see better underwater? Yeah, right here. Okay. Hopefully that is all the excitement for now. If I wasn't in building mode, I'd be heading after Bravo in the morning. Because at least one of those groups I bet you was Bravo. But let's stay focused on the building right now. We'll have plenty of opportunities to raid Bravo in the, again. Oh, believe me, we will be raiding Bravo again. Oh, we got another dude! What in the world? Okay. We might be able to axe him. Okay. Sometimes, you know, sometimes I can come right up behind him and just axe him and they kind of derpity derp out and then other times they run off like that so when that happens we just get the shotgun out all right well um <laughs> that was exciting that was exciting we used up all of our bandages so let's go how you doing yeah you're gonna need some food aren't you buddy um let's give him all these blueberries for now and that should keep him tied over for now. Oh, okay. Let's turn the light on. So, I need... I need to reload my rifle. Okay. Let's put uh, these eggs in here for now. Ammunition can go in there. Uh, I have I have a full stack of gunpowder and then some, which means grenades are going to be made. I have two full stacks of weapons parts. Uh, yeah, we're gonna put those the extras in here. We don't need two full stacks of weapon parts. We don't even really need one full stack, but we'll hang on to it until we 
you know, get to the point where we really, really don't need it anymore. But those we're going to put in there. Okay, let's get, let's make ourselves three bandages. I like to have a minimum of three bandages. Those can go up there. Uh, this can go in here and right into the thing. That can go in there, that can go in there. This can go in here. Okay, put these down here and put those in there. <clears throat> all right. Actually, you know, all things said and done, we got a pretty decent amount of loot from all that. Let's eat our steak and eggs. And let's also eat a couple tomatoes, get our carbs back up. I'm going to, since I have so many fuel bricks, I'm just going to restart that now so I don't forget. Let's drink all of these. And then fill those back up. Okay. I think we are ready to get back at it. So, what were we doing over here? Okay, we were doing this, and then we were going to put a straight foundation in here. that. Okay, let's go back over here for a second. Now we're going to put the curved foundation in here, like so. So what, what we could do, you know, it, this leaves us this little pool of water. We could set up our crop plots right next to it. It'll make for some very easy I was going to say, what in the world is that? But it's the lighting. Uh, make for some very easy uh, watering of the crops. We don't even have to cook it. We just dip it right in. Um, before we totally commit to this, though, I just want to kind of look at it. Yeah, I think... Hmm. There's something else we could do in dead. This will take a lot of redoing of things. No, I, I like I like the way this is set up over here. It's in a good position. So I'm not messing with that. And so if we want the building to be symmetrical on both sides, we, we are going to have to go out that far. Um, And, you know, it is going to come back to this part of the shore here. Okay. Well, let's pick this up. And, uh... Here, hold on. Put that there for a minute. This is all... I'm just look, looking to see how the boards are oriented. Okay, yeah, so they're going long ways. Lengthwise along the dock. Okay, so let's pop this one in here. Like so. Now the other thing we can do too is I want to bridge out to that rock. Uh, but it's not going to really line up for that, is it? All right, well, we'll have to figure that one out later. Right, now that we know uh, where everything is, we're going to want... Uh, we know we're going to want one more curved foundation, so let's just make that now. And then we're going to need several more of these. Let's make four more for the moment, but we're going to need even more than that. Grab some of this loot while we're waiting for that stuff to cook up. Lovely day we're having here. Um, I need to repair this. <laughs> I just thought about that. Okay. We need to get that done. Whoop. 
right, what do I need to repair this? Okay. I need this, this, and this. The rest of this stuff is not in really bad shape. It's not in the best of shape, but it's not in terrible shape. So we're just going to let it continue on for a little while longer. Okay. Now, let's continue putting foundations in place here. And at some point... probably going to want to drop it down again. Um, so the drop down is lined up with the edge of the house. And this is going to be the new edge of the house. Yeah, so this hmm, the thing is, though, is I wonder if that's going to clip into the ground. Well, one way to find out, right? Let's go ahead and make a stairs. I'm just trying to make, you know, make it, the building symmetrical is, is the goal here. Even if, you know, being out in the water that far may not be the most practical thing, but whatever. Whatevs, man, whatevs. Okay, so let's take the stairs. Oh, that's not too bad. We, we're probably going to get a little bit of grass clipping here. But, you know, we have a little bit of grass clipping on this side, too, so it is what it is. Okay, cool. And then, oh, so we want to go one more straight foundation and then the curve. Yep, that looks good. snap in there. There you go. There you go. Okay. And then we just basically foundation all the way back. Except for we want to go this direction to keep everything lined up. How many more can I make? That's three more. I think we're going to need one, two... We're going to need about four or five more. Uh, one, two, three, four, five... Yeah, I think we're going to need about five more. Let's make four first, and then we'll make the fifth one if we have enough resources. I might actually end up filling this all in and having like a nice nice deck out here. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We can there's all kinds of things we can do with this. Oh, okay, so we need actually need two more foundations. Right? Yeah. Okay, one, two. There we go. We had enough stuff to to make the last two foundations. Cool. All right. And then, of course, you know, the next thing will be to continue the wall all the way around. <clears throat> and one more foundation. Now, let's see, what do we got? We, oh, yeah, we only got 14 nails left, so we are pretty much just about done here. But this is good, though. We we made, made some good progress. Now, I want... This is the center. Yeah, because that door, that door there, we're going to move over to here. Because once I add that part of the building, then that's going to be the center. 
So let's move this over now. And the door. And the stairs. Okay. Now, uh, that's a window. I think I want to move the window over. So there's one on both sides of the door. And we'll probably end up doing that on the base too. And now let's just make a normal wall for here. And that's it. We're out of nails. So yeah, we'll, con we'll continue building this out, the wall out over here and wrap it all the way around. It's going to pretty much just mirror that side, except for, like I said, <clears throat> um, I, I like the idea of having a nice little deck out there. Maybe that's where we'll eventually put, put all the crops. And we could even make a nice greenhouse uh, for them. I'm going to have, you know, lights on the crops anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, you know, if they're covered. I was having some, some issues with glass in season one uh, when I tried to make a greenhouse for crops. It was actually blocking the sunlight. So, Okay, we're going to put this back for now. Um, until I can, you know, build some more pieces uh, to, to go out there. So the plan now is... Um, okay, hold on. Can I make a little stairs? I can if we grab just a few more nails. Well, no, we're okay. Uh, when, we're, when we're swimming back from this side, we can just swim underneath for now. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Anyway, uh, what, I, what I'm wanting to do now is I'm wanting to... Here, let's, oh, let's go up here. Okay, so I wonder if I could attach, ooh, I wonder if I could attach a half ceiling on this edge, because that's pointing right towards that rock. Can we make a half ceiling? We can if we go grab a couple more nails. We're going to cheat a little bit and tap into our repair nails. I'm just going to make one of these for now. We'll put all this stuff back. And yeah, let's go back up there. Just about time to harvest tomatoes. In fact, we got some onions there too. Oh man, if this works, this is going to be perfect. So we want to turn it this way. Oh, it's not going to let me do it, you guys. Doggone it. Because look, it's aiming right for that rock. Won't snap in here, though. Oh, that's disappointing. Well, okay. Um... Just trying to think if there's any way we could make that work. But it does. Okay, it does that. Which kind of defeats the purpose of having a corner. That's too bad, man. Um, if you guys if you guys know of a way I could get this to attach is it uh, no yeah okay if you know the way I could get this to attach let me know in the comments because I would really that would be perfect right absolutely perfect going over to that to that rock okay well I think that wraps up uh, this episode 
Uh, so, as usual, I am going to take a few more. Well, I don't know if a few, but a couple days anyways. Uh, In-game days, off-camera days. And start building up the nails again. Uh, we're actually doing really good on just about everything else. Um, but, it's you know, it's just the nails. And, you know, I want to keep the remaining nails that I have for repairing. Oh, speaking of which, uh, we are going to... We do need to do some repairing too from after that attack. There we go. Look at that. I knew I came over here for a reason. <laughs> More nails. Um, yeah. And then uh, once I, um, you know, get that the nails built back up and so forth, I'll bring you guys back for the next episode. I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen next. I mean, there's a ton of things to do. Absolutely a ton of things to do. Um, you know, we got this upgraded, so we got to go find two more chickens. And what level is our current chicken? Where is he? See, she, or she, she's already level nine. <laughs> so we really need to find three chickens uh, to put in there, which we will do. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of keep working on the build here. And we, we haven't raided any of the hunters in a while, so, you know, they're about due. You know what, we could... Maybe we should do a Charlie raid. What do we need to make a breaching charge? Oh, yeah, we could easily afford this. Yeah, maybe maybe when I bring you guys back, um, I'll, we'll, we'll do a Charlie raid. We'll gear up for a Charlie raid. Um, gearing up meaning that I need to have a bunch of grenades and picks made and stuff. And we'll go raid Charlie for the first time because, you know, their building is pretty much finished, which means all of their rooms with all the loot in them should be there and... Uh, you know, ripe for the picking. Um, so, yeah, that's the tentative plan. Uh, but as always, I reserve the right to change my mind. You don't worry, we will be raiding Charlie. Absolutely, we'll be raiding them. Um, it's just, you know, we just have to make sure that the time is right. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, you know what to do. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.